handspring looks like this. So the handspring is the, the move that I am calling the movement that gets you from the floor up into the air with the thumb up. Handspring true grip. So I want to make sure, I know this is a really controversial move because it can damage your arm if your body's not prepared for it. So I want to make sure that you feel prepared. And one of the tests that I like to do is a split grip test with your body upright and pushing the pole away with the bottom arm and engaging through the core to pull your body away from the pole. So if the bottom arm feels really strong, you can press through, pull with the top arm, and this feels good for your body, you can hang out there for a while, then you know that you are ready for it or your body is a little more prepared than if you can't, yes? If you have any questions about whether your body is prepared, make sure you message me or another pole fit method coach. Otherwise, let's get into it today. So my arm, this is a cartwheel mount. So my arm is gonna be straight across from my shoulder, my thumb up. So I'm grabbing the pole, thumb up, straight across from my shoulder. The same leg as the arm that's touching the pole is gonna start in front of my body, and then I swing down, bringing my head below my elbow, reaching for the pole with a palm on the pole and a split grip with a gun grip, bang, bang, on the pole. So this is how I like to start it out, hand here, breathe, and then touch the pole down here. Lift the back leg, engage the quad, squeeze your booty, kick. Good, and then try to lift, or rather jump off the ground with the bottom hand so you'll feel the push through the bottom hand, the pull with the top hand, the engagement of the core. The legs are engaged, the quads engaged. Feel the momentum. So tip, one of the tips I have is keeping your head on the same side of the pole. So if you're finding that you're trying this move and your head is going over here, then you know you need to take it back a step or maybe even do some more exercises here or access the workshop, the Aisha handspring workshop that we have, which we'll link below. So here, after this one feels pretty good. Then a passe leg. So the leg that you're standing on, that's jumping off is going to passe into the top leg. Thumb up, leg swings, head drops below, passe. Breathe, passe. Good. So once this feels good, the hop feels good, the passe leg feels good, now we're going to think about this swinging leg continuing the swing up and over your shoulder. So if you think about your belly button, when you start this move, your belly button's facing forward, then it faces the ground, and then your passe faces out towards the audience or the camera, and at the very end, it keeps turning up, your hips turn up to face the sky. So imagine this leg is this full swoop, sweeping through the space, and then externally rotating, and now the leg is kicking over the shoulder. Yeah, so keep the momentum of the leg coming through that space, kicking over the shoulder, engage through the core. So breathe, exhale. And come back down, one foot at a time. See how that feels? So remember, you're dropping your head down as your hips come up. Breathing the whole time, and then turning externally, rotating, and then bringing this leg over the shoulder to finish the move. I can't do it slow, a nice fluid movement. You can keep the passe if that feels good, and then work to get into a V-shape after that. So I hope these tips help you. I have a ton more tips. So don't think these are the only tips that we have or the only exercises that you can do because there's so much more. There's only so much time in a day, right? <laughs> Try these tips, message me if you have questions, and then check out the workshop. Bye.